you know, a lot of people ask why would you transfer the magazine to Ole Miss? You know, you, you sold that magazine down the river. You know, it wasn't really a sale. It was, <laughs> there wasn't any money involved. But, um, it was because really of the history. You know, the people said Ole Miss, you know, Mississippi had this reputation for segregation and Ole Miss was the bastion of segregation because of the James Meredith case and things that had gone on here. And, and I thought with the changes that I saw happening, I thought that was precisely the reason it should be here um, because Mississippi was changing, Ole Miss was changing, and the, the Center for the Study of Southern Culture has, has been in the forefront of that here at, at Ole Miss trying to recognize African American culture and, and other aspects of Southern culture, things that weren't considered worthy of study before. You know, now they're getting the respect and, and recognition as being one of the important artistic and cultural contributions to America. And I thought this was a good place for Living Blues to be because if it wasn't going to be in Chicago, Mississippi, you know, everybody, you know, half of the blues artists that I knew in Chicago came from Mississippi anyway. And I'd come, I'd lived in Alabama and Mississippi and gone up there, and so I decided to come back too. <laughs>